hi guys welcome to today's video continuation of our navy pizza challenge series and today we'll be looking at extraction transformation and loading of our data to power bi so last time we looked at business and data understanding and it's time for us to uh, get some things done in power bi so i have my power bi opened right now um of course you can go ahead to load your data but Personally, most times when I need to work on Power BI, I make some changes first, which I will show you. Um, I make some regional changes. Uh, I will go to File and then go to Options, Settings, and then I come to Current File under Data Load. I uncheck this Auto Data New Relationship. So what this does basically is, um, if it's checked and you're loading your tables. Power BI is going to automatically connect this table together. Yeah, that, that might sound like it's really fun, right? Yeah. However, not all the time you would really want to do this because it doesn't get it right all the time. So personally, I prefer to uncheck it and do the modeling all by myself. And the second thing I'm going to uncheck here is the auto date or time. So I'm unchecking this because we have a uh, date and time in our table and I don't want Power BI to create an auto date hierarchy for me. I will be doing that myself. So that's why I'm not checking this. And then the next thing is the regional setting. So I am just going to ensure that this is in the United States because um, that is where the file is coming from. And so I want it to interpret the numbers, the dates and everything just the way it is in the file. So with these changes made, I'm just going to click on OK and then I can go ahead to get my data. So now I go to get data, text CSV. I downloaded the files, the tables from Maven Analytics Data Playground. If you don't have it already, the link will be in the description. So the first one will be other details. And yes, I can see a preview of how the table looks like. And then I can just click on transform data to go to Power Query. So here in Power Query, we can see more information or let me say, yeah, <laughs> more details about this table, talking about the number of records that are valid. Of course, to get this turned on, you need to just go to view and then you can click on colon quality. So if I uncheck it, it's gone. And if I bring it now, I have it. So I will just go back to home and try to bring in other tables. And now I have all of my tables inside of the power query so i can just try to go over them to see if i can make some changes or you know transformation so for these other details i think it's all good in my opinion um yeah so i'm just going to go to the next one orders we have other id date time um, i have this colon quality just for me to see which of my fields have an invalid record so so far so good none of them has it and now this pizza types Yes, none of them has invalid, um, invalid uh, columns. However, you would see that the headers are misplaced. So we can have col we have column one, column two, and so on instead of pizza type ID. Well, that's not a problem. I can just go over here and click on use first row as headers. So this way, I can have all of what was initially the second row. We can have it as the first row, and this is how it should be. So again, everything it looks good. I come to pizzas and then I can see that also everything looks good here. So what transformation can we make? Uh, actually, this has to be based on your objectives and what you really want to achieve. If you remember in our first video where we looked at the pizza challenge objective. So we can see that we are looking at the revenue in the level of the date and not just date specifically the quarter month and day so it is important for us not to just have our date as you know for instance first of january 2015 but we can get a more detailed information about each of the dates so we are just going to transform the date to this level of detail so let's go back to power query and now we are back to power query here we have the others table and then we have the date field so this date field needs to be transformed like we need to get the month level 
you need to get the quarter level information and also the day level so all we need to do is to come to the menu here and then go to add colon here in add colon we have the date area so once we click on date then we can have these options now if you are not clicking on this date field let's say for instance i'm clicking on other id if i come to add colon you will see that this date is not active so for me to ensure that i have this date time functions active i need to click on date or time as the case may be to get time functions so what i need is date and then i can click on date here so here i need the first quarter so let's just get the quarter so let's just get the quarter of here and so we see we have one two i'm sure when we just click on this we will have uh one two three four which represent the first the fourth quarter of each year and then the next thing is also to go back to date and then we want to get the month level now so we can just click on month this will give us the number of the month of course this will be from 1 to 12. but yeah this might not really be uh good enough for our report i mean it will make sense if we have like the name of the month so that way we can just go back again to date and then click on date then we'll go to month this time not just month we'll click on name of month so we can have January, February, as the case may be. And then the last thing will be the day it, uh, itself. So talking about Monday, Wednesday, and so on. So come back to date, and then we go to day, and then I click on name of day. I would choose day first to give me the numbers. I'm going to tell you why we are doing this. I mean, the numbers before we do the name. So when we get to the report, you would, you would see why we are doing this. So I just click on name of day, and I have all of this. So I think with that, uh, we can move on. Yeah, we, we can perform some transformation on this time, of course. But right now, I will just leave it and go over to the Power BI model view, you know, just to see. I'm, I'm sure that we will have to come back here to Power Query uh, again. But I think for now, we are, we are good. So we come over here to Home and then click Close and Apply. So once you close and apply, you have your data loading and there should be no error yeah okay perfect perfect so we have our data loaded and now we can come to our model view and here they are we have the four tables so uh one of the changes we made at the beginning of the video is to uncheck uh automatically detect relationships if that was not unchecked Power BI would have tried to automatically model this data together. So if you are here and you're not seeing it like this, you're probably seeing some lines uh, like this has been modeled, then you did not do that setting. So it's not a problem. It's probably going to get the modeling correct. But in most cases, there are usually like exceptions. So you need to just make sure that you check it yourself and ensure that the modeling is done correctly. So with that, we have come to the end of today's video. Um, in the next video, we're going to be looking at the modeling. And of course, it's going to be an informative one. I hope you join me. Thank you and see you soon.